The last symbol that I'm going to talk about in this symbology section is the hypercube. And this is one of the, the deepest symbols of all occultism, which very few people really delve into and get into the meaning of. The hypercube represents four-dimensional space and time. The next level of, uh, of, um, of uh, uh, the next higher dimension from the three-dimensional world that we inhabit. So you have a point that represents no dimension. You have a line that represents a one dimension that you can go forward or backward. You have a plane. You extrude the line and you get a plane. Now you have a two-dimensional object. Then you extrude the plane into a third dimension and you get a cube. So that's what our three-dimensional world is like. 3D, you have a single cube. You have uh, length, width, and depth. But then if you extrude a cube, you take the cube and you pull it and you extrude it that way, you get what's called a hypercube. So this is a four-dimensional object. It, it is uh, derived by unfolding a cube into all of the dimensions of each one of the, 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 the planes of the cube. And you get this object. You, when you look at the hypercube uh, ideology, it is represent, representative of the, the um, mind existing inside the construct of matter. So you have matter being the outer part of the cube, and then mind is the inner part of the cube. Okay, so this correlates to this level of body, mind, spirit uh, levels of consciousness that we saw in part one. And we see that the hypercube is derived when we combine matter, represented by the red square, and spirit, represented by the green square. We see that that is everything that is. Okay? That is the universe or the world of matter, the world of spirit, coming into manifestation as matter to experience itself subjectively. And that is the large cube that is derived from that union. See, that's the large cube. The unification of body or matter and spirit is the large cube. And then the inner cube is the mind. That is where body and spirit combine. They merge in the realm of mind. So that's the inner part of the cube. So if we put the outer cube over top of the inner cube, we see that the hypercube is actually a cube within a cube. And again, this part of the cube in the center is the experience of mind. This part of the cube in the outside is the physical world of manifestation that the spirit comes down and inhabits to create that which can have experiences. This is the two dimensional projection of this four dimensional object, a cube rotated around in every plane that it can be rotated in. It's a complex, heady idea. If you look on the internet for some uh, uh, graphic depictions or animations of a hypercube, you can get a clearer idea of what it is in your mind. But the idea is that to look at the cube in a dark way, the hypercube in a dark way, means that you are seeing the physical world as a prison, and that's the large box. The big box on the outside is the physical world that imprisons spirit. See, this is a negative worldview that says all the physical world is really a prison, and it's, it's, it's a horrible thing, a horrible place. It's not a construct for experience of spirit to descend into physical form so that it may come to know itself more fully. It's a horrible thing that is, uh, you know, a prison. And, and that's the way that a dark occultist looks at the dark hypercube and uh, the hypercube symbology. The inside of the cube is the mind that is held captive within the body. 
So you have the prison of mind being held in the larger prison of the physical world of matter. And this is its two-dimensional, two-dimensional projection, which looks like an octagon. So this is a symbol of mind control. The, the octagon is a symbol of base consciousness. It is the symbol of the controlled mind, the small cube, being held in the large cube, the prison of matter. So it's a dark worldview concept that represents the double prison, the prison of mind held in the cage of matter. And what do we see the hypercube or the octagon used to represent? We see it as a male dominator sport that involves the potential of destroying the brain. Extremely violent uh, uh, male dominator sports. Uh, cage fighting, you know, uh, where the, the brain isn't respected, go into a cage and smash your opponent into unconsciousness and do all kinds of damage to the brain. Uh, the octagonal hat, the eight-cornered hat that law enforcement officers wear. It's another total assault on the consciousness of people who take the jobs as enforcers or controllers. They're being told symbolically, you, your consciousness is of the hypercube, it's of the octagon. The octagon is placed on the crown chakra, just like the square. We saw in the other example, the double square on the English police's hat, right here on the forehead, on the third eye. Again, the double square is representative of the octagon, the two squares being combined in an eight-sided shape. If you complete the, the corners, you get the octagon if you connect the corners. But the eight-cornered hat is the octagon being worn on top of the crown chakra as another occultic insult, an, uh, an insult in symbolism to the mind-controlled um, uh, controllers, the controllers who they themselves are under deep forms of mind control to, to do a job that is a, 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 a deeper suppression of their spirit and others. Because the hypercube is seen in one more place and it is ubiquitous, it is everywhere, it is on every metropolitan street corner, the stop sign, encoded in red and it has the word stop written on it, and this is saying to the consciousness, stop, stop the journey, stop your movement, stop the progression of spirit. Just stop and stay in the double prison, stay in the hypercube, the prison of mind encoded and captured in the prison of matter. The hypercube is one of the more difficult symbols to really grasp the deep connotative uh, uh, um, uh, uh, understanding of the symbolism of it, but once you understand it, you will see it in many places and it is definitely used as a subversive symbol in most instances, particularly in, in uh, cage fighting, in uh, the, the, uh, the uniform and emblems of controllers, particularly the eight-cornered hat of police, and most ubiquitously in the stop sign that we see all over uh, Western culture.